Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those who happen to be new here, my name is Mons and I create content revolving around sneakers, travel and lifestyle. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different and I'll actually be going through my monthly favorites for the month of January. I always enjoy watching these types of videos so I thought I would join in on the fun and share with you guys some of my favorites from the month of January. So if you enjoy this type of content, please feel free to leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to split up all of my favorites into specific categories and we're going to go ahead and start off with beauty. So the first product that I'm ready to share with you guys is this one right here. So this is a Merit Beauty product and bear with me since it does have quite a long name. This is the Shade Slick Jelly Tinted Lip Oil and I do have them in two different shades. The top is called Mapleton, a sheer brown and the bottom is Maraschino, which is a sheer red. These are typically the colors that I go for when it comes to beauty products and lip products. Products. If you're in the market for trying a lip oil, I highly recommend these ones. They're sheer, so they're buildable and they're really, really hydrating. And these have been my go-tos for the past month since I got them. So there's that. All right, so the second product that I wanted to share with you guys is typically not something that I would splurge on, but I was sold on it when I found it in Sephora. And it is this one right here. So this is the Whey Moisturizing Body Cream in the St. Bart's scent. Now, like I said, I'm very content with just buying my regular drugstore lotions because they do the job and they're very affordable. However, I was just kind of like looking into trying new products and I tried this one in store and definitely saw the hype on it. It's a very thick body cream in the container, but when you actually apply it to your skin, it absorbs really, really well, which is kind of what sold me on it. And I actually really love the scent of this. Not something that I would typically go for, but I don't know, there's something about it that smells really, really good for me. And since it is scented, it does double as a fragrance, which is really great. For those who are curious on the notes, I went ahead and pulled it up on the side. So for the St. Bart's scent, it has notes of dragon fruit, orange blossom, tuberose, and Baltic amber. So if you're wondering what this smells like and haven't had an opportunity, I would definitely go to your local Sephora and check it out because this one was definitely worth it in my opinion. And this one retails for $38 and has 7.5 ounces in it. So I would check it out. So for the final beauty product of January, I've been looking for a signature scent these past few years and haven't really gotten any luck. And when I finally was able to try some of like the viral scents from this brand, I was actually hooked on one that I wasn't expecting. And it is this perfume right here. So this is the Byredo Baldi Freak scent and I am not very good at describing notes and whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you all. So the top note is an African marigold, bergamot, buchu, lemon, and neroli. The heart is, oh goodness, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Cyclamen, jasmine petals, and violet. And the base is a black amber, Moroccan cedarwood, musks, and vetiver. Now I am one that loves like clean, fresh, floral scents. So I think this kind of like encompassed everything that I was looking for and still you get a lot of depth in the scent and the fragrance. So I decided that I wanted to purchase this, but my friends actually got this for me for my birthday. So thank you guys so much for getting this for me. And it just smells so good and definitely a signature scent. Um, contender for me. I am still going to be looking for other ones as well so that I have a bit of a collection, but this one has been like such a front runner and I'm so glad that I finally have it in my collection. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the travel and lifestyle category. And the first product I wanted to share is this one right here. So this is my Awala water bottle and this is in the 24 ounce. I believe the color is called Island Breeze. And I just love this water bottle so much. I know a lot of people have really loved the Stanley these last few years, and I do have one and I love it more as a home water bottle, but in terms of something on the go, this kind of like takes the cake for me and only because it is just like such a great water bottle. First and foremost, it doesn't spill. You can hear that, which is great. And this lock on the top, you know, doubles as a handle. So very easy to carry around. And the best part about it is that the spout and the straw is covered, you know, and you have two options on how you want to drink your water. You can either sip it through the straw or you can do a free sip, which I think is really, really great depending on like what activity you're doing or if you're traveling. And of course, you know, making sure that it's covered is such a big deal for me. And this has been such a great water bottle for travel and for all of my jujitsu classes and fitness classes. So if anyone's in the market for a new water bottle, I highly suggest you take a look at these. And of course, like it does come in different sizes. So I don't think you'll be disappointed, honestly. And yeah, this has just been like my go-to uh, water bottle as of recent, so yeah. 
So if you've watched my Instagram meal, then you've already seen this product, but I definitely wanted to highlight it because I use it like so many times in the week. And it is this bag right here. I'm gonna go ahead and step back so you can see it. So this is the Calpac Luca Duffel in the chocolate color. And this is the smaller size. It does come in a larger size, but I thought for my needs, this is the perfect size that I was looking for. And I'm gonna go ahead and show some of my favorite features on here. So the first being it has like a separate shoe compartment. So if you wanted to keep it separate from all of your other valuables, I think it's really great that they added it in here. For those who enjoy a crossbody type of situation, it does come with an additional crossbody strap. So if you didn't wanna um, wear it on your shoulders at, like so, then you have that option as well. But I think because it has like such great um, length on the straps, it's very comfortable to just wear it like this. And I will say that it does fit underneath the seats in Southwest. I can't speak to the other ones since I haven't tried it yet, but I think it's a great size bag and you can fit it under there. And because of the material, it does fit and pack a lot of items. So this has been really like my go-to travel bag, um, personal item or carry-on if you wish. And I have been using this bag for my jujitsu classes, especially since my geese can get really bulky. And since it has been cold in San Diego, I have been wearing a lot of layers. So just to kind of keep everything together, this is just a great bag to keep everything all compact and ready to go. So if you are in the market for looking for a great like travel bag or just an everyday bag, I highly suggest looking into this one because it's a really, really good one. All right, so the next item I wanted to share is this little guy right here. So this is the Bagu and Hello Kitty collaboration. And if you couldn't tell from the video, this is actually a reusable bag. What I love about this is it does come with a pouch that you can keep the bag in so it's not, you know, like a mess in your bag. But I am terrible at putting bags back into my car. So I do my best to try and keep one in my purse. And this one is such a good size. Like, look how big it is. And I'm a fan of Hello Kitty anything or Sanrio anything. And I love the fact that they added like fruits and vegetables into this pattern. So this has just been, you know, my go-to grocery bag and my go-to shopping bag. So I don't have to pay for any bags, especially since a lot of stores are, you know, charging now. And, you know, it just makes me feel better that I'm doing at least like I'm doing my best in trying to be as sustainable as possible. So I'm really, really loving this. Okay, so we have finally reached the final category and this one is gonna be more on the sneakers and fashion side. So the first item that I wanted to share with you guys is this one right here. So this is the Viral Uniqlo round shoulder bag and this definitely lives up to the hype. If you've seen like my TikTok video, then you know that you can fit a lot of items in here. And I do like the fact that it's washable. I actually got the strap like super dirty somehow. I have no idea why, but I just threw it in the wash and the dryer and you know, just came out new. And I love the fact that you can kind of wear it as a shoulder bag like this. This is the shortest setting, but if you wanted to, you can obviously wear it as a crossbody, which I will show you all right here. And not only is it, oh gosh, I hope that didn't muffle the mic. Okay, so you can kind of wear it like that. Now, in addition to it being a great bag and you can fit a lot of items in it, it is at a great and affordable price. I believe they retail for $19.90, but I have seen them gone down or I have seen them go down to like $9.90 and $14.90 during like the holiday season. So if you're looking for just kind of like a great everyday purse or everyday bag, I think this is also a very great travel bag because of how much it can fit. I think this is definitely gonna be the one that I'm gonna take when I go to Asia soon. And yeah, it's just a great bag and there are so many different colors to match your outfits. So yeah, I love this one so much. I use it basically every single day, so yeah. And next up are actually a couple of clothing items that I have been loving. Like I said, it has been very cold in California and super, super rainy. So I have had the great opportunity to use all of my hoodies and sweaters and it has been great. I am really trying to um, just savor all of this cold weather before it suddenly gets sunny again for majority of the year. And with that being said, I have been loving all of the sweats, like this soft apparel collection from Abercrombie & Fitch. So my sister actually got this for me from Chris for Christmas, and it is this hoodie right here. It is, let me get the label for you. It is oversized, and it's part of the like soft A&F Essentials collection. And I love it. Like you can see it's very oversized. This is actually in a size small and it's super, super soft. 
and not very heavy. Um, I do have other hoodies that are much heavier than this, but I like the fact that this one isn't super heavy because then I can layer it if I want to. And it's just like, I can't, I can't um, even express to you how soft this is. So you're gonna have to try it for yourself if you haven't had an opportunity to try um, some of these items from the collection. So because of the hoodie though, I did end up getting like a pair of the cargo sweatpants in that same material. And this one is in more of like a grayish blue color, which I don't have. Same, I wanted to go for more of like an oversized look as well. So I ended up getting this in a medium, but it is like tapered at the bottom. So you can kind of like roll the pant over if you wanted to, or kind of style it as you want to. So I have been loving these as well. I really want to get more colors, but because they're so popular, they have been sold out or at least like in my size um, on the website and in stores. So I'm really just trying to time myself and trying to get more of these, but these have been my go-to items when it comes to just kind of like going out or even just laying around in the house. So like I said, if you haven't had an opportunity to try these, highly recommend these ones. All right, so we have come to the final item and it is a pair of sneakers. Now, I actually haven't bought a pair of sneakers in 2024 yet, which is pretty crazy, but very good for my wallet. And so the sneaker that I'm gonna share is actually a drop that came out in December, 2023. And it finally came in like early January. So I was, I was finally able to enjoy it this past month. And it is this pair right here. So this is the 8th Street Clark's original Adidas Samba and Kith collaboration. This is from the Kithness drop. This is one of two colors that came out and this is really the one that I wanted. Now I will be making a separate video on, you know, my first impressions and my review on the sneaker um, and all of that fun stuff um, coming soon. But I did want to note in this video that this has been kind of like my go-to sneaker. It's very neutral, very comfortable, and I have nothing but good things to say about the sneaker. And now it just makes me more excited to get more Sambas in the future. So that will conclude all of my January favorites. And that'll be everything for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed that. Since this was my first favorites video, I had so much fun sharing with you all some of my monthly favorites. And if you enjoyed this type of video, I am looking to continue this on for the rest of the year. So please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all at the next video. This has been your girl Mons, and bye.